Hello everybody, welcome back and welcome to Mad Ferris Studios. Going into part three of Call of Duty Vanguard. We're going into Paulina Petrova's story. I'm so excited for this. A female character. I fucking love it. So, let's go in and do some sniping. So, last one we finished up Operation Tonga with the Lion's Den and now we're in Stalingrad, 1945. Or, sorry, 1942. Not 1945. 1945 stuck in my head. From all the flags waving on the streets, we'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. But bullies are always loudest when they're scared. And when they're desperate, they get stupid. Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. And he'd given us a free ride right into the lion's den. Dominic Dune! I've read the field report twice. This Allied team is fascinating. They have been captured. But it was too close. I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. You will speak of this to no one else and report directly to me. Al Hitler. What is that smell? Chlorine dioxide. They think it hides the smell of death. So, rein, rein! Ich sag dir, beweg dich! Well, this is the nicest shit all I've ever been in. Is anyone else hungry? Yeah. Yeah. So, I am Hauptsturmführer Richter and. Piss off, crowd. Unless you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. Yeah, I'm Have sure you do. Bloody questions. I'm the commanding officer. You'll speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals. Office rat. The perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed. And all wankers. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, Service Number Two Five Two Three Two Six Four Two. I have spoken with the Führer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race, by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Führer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant, and everyone like him. The book reveals that under extreme duress, or unfavorable conditions your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right at the suprasternal notch, below the clavicle. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of classified ah. intelligence. <laughs> Project Phoenix had to be there somewhere, and Richter was our ticket. He thought he was the interrogator. If he was to be of any use to us, he'd have to keep thinking that. That arrogant Nazi in his clean-pressed uniform 
loved the sound of his own voice. The hard part wouldn't be fooling Richter into spilling what he knew of Project Phoenix. The hard part would be convincing the others not to kill him first. The Allies somehow knew about Project Phoenix. You must have a traitor amongst the officers. No. I've pulled their files. Take care of them with the other non-essentials. <laughs> are you sweet on him? Guy, the woman you are. What is wrong with you? Lieutenant Kingsley mentioned a Project Phoenix. Likely allied propaganda. The Negro thought he was protecting his team. No doubt to prove himself. To make him their leader. The Allies must have been desperate. <laughs> he said it was their first mission. That his sixth man is dead. He's probably lying. I will uncover the truth. But there are other teams like this one. Wouldn't you like to know? How did they learn of Hamburg? Is Tempelhof at risk of being compromised? These are the things I need to know. There's more at stake here than I'm at liberty to discuss. Just know that I'm counting on you, Herita. I understand. Thank you. So. Well, I see ten fingers. That's a good sign, at least. Let me go pass. I'm fine. Listen. They know about Wade. But they haven't caught him yet. I told him he was killed, didn't you? On the train to Hamburg. I don't think they'll fall for it, but the hope is it'll buy him some time to get us out. He isn't coming back for us. He's right, Kingsley. We can't count on that fucking drunk guy. Bring out the girl. She ain't going nowhere, mate. I'll just get out of my way. <laughs> Every person on this team was a hero in their own right, long before their files ever reached my desk. But to say they were strong personalities would be a vast understatement. <laughs> Particularly when it came to Petrova. Have you seen my... Again? It's bad enough I have to wear this thing at all. No, it's flammable. All those years teaching me how to shoot. Wasted. Stuck in the med tent. Don't be in a rush to fight, Dolce. Glory is worth nothing. When you're dead. But this fight, it matters. You matter. You and Misha are all I have left. Hey, be nice. I'm always nice. What you got there? Empty bottles? I'm training fresh partisans. 
Our comrades already know how to drink. This will be Molotov, sir. Is it wise to give explosives to civilians? Papasha, you worry too much. Ouch, sister. Oh, that hurts. Eh, you did that well enough yourself. The plechka. Durin. Ligushka. Kazyol. Shaba. Save both of you. Sit! Love that tea set. That is gorgeous. I'm a, I'm a sucker for tea sets. Real family breakfast. Bombs and bullets. Best way to start the day. <laughs> you know, you're gonna get yourself killed having that old rifle in the house, Papa. Now who is worried too much? So, the Germans are approaching the front line. Is that where you're off to? No, they told me that's not where I'd be the most useful, so... I'm training recruits at the old post office. Must be nice. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a choice on the map. It's a beautiful at apartment. Oh, don't tell me at least. You? Fight it! You're both doing your part. Which reminds me. If any of those two can get past you, you know where to send them. <laughs> of course, Papa. They will never get through. Never. Flynn! I need to run. They're waiting for me. Miss, you're... He would forget to keep his own head screwed on without us. We really are saints. Honestly. I'll make sure he gets this on my way to the med tents. You help your country much more than you know. And you make your old man proud. Aww. Spasiba, Papa. It's been a while since I played this. You were a natural. Ah, I miss hearing you play. Oh. Misha and I were so little in this photo. Seems like just yesterday. Wow. So many impressive medals, Papa. It's your mother. She always insisted we display them. We should replace your old chair. Never. It's comfy enough for me. And suitcase is ready to go, just in case. Be safe out there. You cannot leave. He's taking the key. It would be crazy to say he has taken all that veranda. Seems like nobody really knows. Every day it's a new information. Yes, yes. But, but you, you think the Germans will push into the city? Not if you're out there fighting. Milimoy, the new partisans I'm training will crush them before they get close. I believe it. Good luck out there. Pauline. Pauline. Here to keep your brother out of trouble? Impossible. Something smells good over here. Oh, Paulina, I saved a loaf for your family. Spasiba. <laughs> You're welcome. Your father has been bothering me for some Borodinsky. Of course he has. I'll come by and grab it later. Be safe at work, Paulina. Don't you usually have much more than this to sell? I'm running low. You All can my shipments will be ready for you. Forget something? You're a lifesaver. I know. We should be good. I should be going with you. You probably should. I have more practice than any of these Red Army Tabaki. Keep your voice down. You, you don't want to make enemies here. Fine. Just don't do anything I wouldn't do. 
couldn't even if I tried. My aim is shit compared to yours. <laughs> uh, it's too bad we can't trade places. I would look great in that uniform. I would love to play traces, play, try to trade places with making. you. One piece, several pieces, it's fine. I'm pretty good at putting people back together. Now. Yes, ma'am. You've made me late again. I'll have to take the rooftops. You're gonna get yourself killed climbing around up there. I promise you can say I told you so if it happens. Now go! Go, go, yeah. Oh, there's the violin player. Very pretty. Good morning. Morning, Paulina. How is your father's leg? Finally improving. Thanks. Have you been hearing? Oh, Don't worry. The Red Army will handle it. Well, be careful out there! I told you, you have to give me back that money. You, you, you were too, you can buy your own cigarettes. Sure. The medical officer will assign your duties. She's down the other side of the door.
help your country more than you know. And you make your old man proud. Papasha. <laughs> Leave Stalingrad now. Obersteiner, we have the Oka Breaker Gesetz gefunden. Alle is full of Waffen. I came from.
we go? Where'd it go? Yeah, I'm sick with that. Tell Mom I'm off to save Misha. As usual. Give him, sister.
see. Yes, I do have to go that way.
Let's see him. I think they're dead! Can you get us free now? <laughs> oh, thank God! Come, get us free, quick! It was incredible. We're going what? Now. Господи, I, I was so scared that you and... Me? You're the one tied up? Take care of the others. Оля? Папа. He's gone. Gone. Oh, no. Misha. No. Misha. No. We don't have time for this. We have to get your recruits out of here. If we stay here much longer, we're trapped. You're right. You're right. Okay, let's go. Misha, we need to get to the Volga. How do we get out of this building? Misha, focus. How can we escape to the river? There's an exit here. We could make a run for the sewers, but the Germans are blocking the courtyard. It'll be tough. Do you have any extra supplies? Weapons? Anything I can use? I know there were soldiers defending on the roof. They had the radio. There might be supplies, too. All right. I'll lay down cover fire from there while you get our people to the sewers. With your shoes, sister, maybe you can reach the roof climbing up there. I should get you to the roof. I'll give you a boost. I'll find a good place to cover you. I know. You've always been a better shot than me. The Pasha is with me now. And I know he wouldn't want us to die in this post office to a bunch of Ubliotki. He would be proud of you. He would be proud of us. Get our people to the sewer. I'll lay them fire from the roof. Don't miss, okay? I never do. At the very least, try not to. Once we're out of the streets, stay hidden until Polina is in position. I don't even want to imagine the callus on her fingers. Polina, if you can hear me, find the radio. Blat, I'm not receiving. 
Boy, Bosch, I hope you're listening to me for once. We are pinned down in the crater by the trolley. Waiting for your first shot before we start moving to the sea. You are grounded, Ivan! Accept your defeat! Malina, we'll start for the sewer on your side. The craft belongs to the right. Surrender now or face death. Ready to move to the sewer on you or fire. Artisan, move now! Malina's got his attention. Damn it. Let's try that again. We had not receiving. Boy, Bush, I hope you're listening to me for once. We are pinned down in the crater by the trolley. Artisans, move now! Marina's got his attention! Move to the sewer now! Molina, get 
Surviving Stalingrad was no small feat. Escaping? Even greater. But no one really escaped something like that. The Nazi war machine had touched all our lives. Burned away something important. I think that's what made us attractive to the SOE in the first place. But for Polina, the wound was marrowed. Oh, God. She was destined to return the favor. And that had made her the deadliest member of my team. Damn straight. Such a touching story. You couldn't even save the life of your own father. So tell me, why isn't Ivan with an old rifle part of a top secret allied operation? You do not scare me, little mouse. <laughs> the fuck was that? Pussy. You misunderstand me, Fraulein. I do not need you to fear me. I need only your screams. That will convince your friends to talk. Why? Because I am a woman. <laughs> You're not very good at this, are you? Shit! Oof. Tell me, what other missions the Allies have in Germany? You really think you're gonna break her? What is worth talking about, Fraulein? Rising. Go fetch him. I can confirm my story together. <laughs> Take her back. Send me all the records on a Commander Steiner and any photographs of the Russian sniper. Lady Nightingale, yes, that one. And with. 
Herr Freisinger, I was just coming to see you. We have confirmation from the woman. The sixth ally is dead. Is that so? An American arrested at Tempelhof. Trying to steal a plane. This makes no sense. Prisoners made a fool of you, Richter. And now you have made a fool of me! <laughs> The American is being brought here now. If I must interrogate him myself, then I have no use for you. Trying to be nice. What did you tell them? We traded torture tips. Relax. I told the same lies as you. Did he believe you? I stopped asking when I brought up Freisinger. <laughs> when we get out of here. The first thing I'm going to do is head to the pictures. See les trois mousquetaires. Let Edith Mera break my heart all over again. And you, Lucas? What's the first thing you'll do when we're out of here? Hey. When I get home, I'm eating lamingtons for a week. <laughs> all cakes, all the time. Hell yeah. I know what you miss. Yeah. I'd like to have that sweet bird Barbara pour me pints of my local until I forget this infernal war ever happened. I don't even know if she's still alive. Everyone I love is dead. And the only time I feel anything is when I watch a German beg for his life. So, I am exactly where I need to be. All right, folks, we will pick up the Battle of Midway in the next episode. So, I enjoy, as always, I enjoyed Paulina's because she's a sniper and I do love snipering. Snipering? Jeez, I do love being a sniper. That that is a lot of fun. Let's go, Wade. We'll go in the next episode, Mateo. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Welcome to the Ferret Family. If you're not new to the channel, hey, thanks for sticking around. We are so glad you're still here with us. And I'll see you on the next episode, guys. Bye for now. <laughs>